For all those Honda Element owners going crazy for a center console solution, here's a 2004 to 2008 uh, model year Ford F-150 center console. Uh, it's the model that has the shifter on the floor. Right here is this hole is where the shifter would normally be, uh, but the whole shift uh, element out of it actually gives a perfect hole down to the e-brake. Perfect access to the e-brake. No extra cutout needed. This trim piece actually comes with uh, uh, the center console, uh, again, where the shifter was. Uh, two cup holders here and can also be taken out for larger cups. Storage in the armrest. Had no modification here. Full armrest, uh, two other cup holders in the back, again with cups to be removed. And these AC vents are obviously not hooked up. However, there is a uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter in the back if you so choose to wire it up. I did not, I have just had the pigtails um, stored back behind there in case I want to in the future. But um, it fits in fairly well. I, I just had to uh, cut off all of the, you can see some plastic residue here. There's a bunch of clips uh, when you get it. All, every single clip uh, had to be uh, cut off with an angle grinder uh, or a um, oscillating tool. I just use the oscillating tool. Uh, and then as you can see here, I just installed uh, two L brackets uh, here on the bottom, the silver brackets there uh, into the floor of the element. And then in the back here, if I get enough light, right here, I just put another screw into the uh, uh, the plastic around the regular console, floor console of the uh, element. Uh, this is actually where a normal bolt would go into uh, the Ford. So I just use that same location. Move it up a little bit so you can see. So you can see that area there. So this is where the Ford had a, um, a bolt or a screw going in uh, there. I just used that sort of area to put a small self-tapping screw in uh, there. It's solid. Solid, solid there. You can slide up here. It is a tight, tight, tight fit, I will tell you what. But it actually does work uh, very well. I do have a little bit of a gap here uh, that in between the subwoofer, just so there's no rattling there. Uh, and then there was some uh, extra uh, plastic here that would actually attach into the uh, Ford F-150 uh, dash. Uh, underneath, but I just again took an oscillating tool and cut that off. You can see that uh, edge there uh, To cut that off, but so there's no touching. Let's see if I can get it perfect there um, Did test to make sure there's no rattling no rattling so far, but I mean This thing is solid and I can't believe it really fit in I'm shaking it and shaking it and shaking it the phone shaking more than the console is but uh, it's in there uh, perfect height here for I'm um, six foot uh, perfect height here for me to rest my arm on. I did have to take off the, if you can see down here, I did have to take off the armrest on the uh, element. Um, but that was uh, a breeze, no problem there. Just look up how to remove a armrest uh, for that. I may try to fab up some sort of pocket um, or tray that drops into here because honestly, in the almost 10 years I've owned the element, I've never had to um, Pull the e-brake more than I'd say five or six times being an automatic. Um, fairly flat roads uh, in Philadelphia, in the suburbs of Philadelphia where I primarily am. Um, but again, direct access down here, pulls all the way up. Super easy to access, but if I can fab up some sort of tray that just drops into here, uh, that I can just remove if I need to pull the e-brake and then I can put back down uh, on top. Uh, that will be the next uh, thing here, but I'm super happy with this. I couldn't believe how well it fit. Uh, it seemed like it would be a little bit too big from uh, initial measurements that I took. Uh, thanks, uh, help to some folks on the uh, Element Owners Club on Facebook, um, but it's in and this thing is solid. Uh, one thing I will say, if you do attempt it, again, you have to cut off all the tabs that are inside. Uh, I'll have photos of this as well um, uh, shared all over. Uh, but if uh, if you do attempt to do it, uh, the best way to get it in once you have all the tabs cut off is to slide this uh, seat all the way forward. And this 
hole, let's see it uh, uh, breaks here. Uh, there's just four tabs on either corner of this uh, piece right here. This will come off easily just by pulling up here uh, on all four tabs. Uh, I had this out to be able to slide it in from the back to install it. And then I put this piece back on top once it was in. That allows a little bit more wiggle room of this plastic here to really slide into the seats and get it in the right position. And then what you do, then put this piece back down on top. Um, but that's it. Any questions, feel free to put it in the comments. Uh, super happy. Again, this is a Ford F-150 2004-2008, also known as the 11th generation of the F-150. Uh, there into a, this is a 2003 Honda Element.